21st century is going to be the century of the human genome. You know, I'm one of those people who always thought that genes and genomes were boring and that proteins were the only important things in life. And, you know, as I will mention, this, you know, this is how the gen genome decided to take its revenge and, and showed me that it's much, much more interesting than I thought it would be. For a long time, people were constrained by the computer power they had. Uh, and then um, that meant people couldn't make the kind of advances on the theoretical side. So my work was about how we introduce more ideas from evolutionary theory uh, into making better alignments, and that wouldn't have been possible 10 years ago. Bioinformatics has gradually shifted from being a theoretical science to being an experimental science. And while many of the things we see are still theoretical methods, you will realize that they are all using real data and very often data produced by the scientists themselves. And this is a shift that is happening now and that is announcing a major shift in biology in general where uh, uh, sequence data is going to be used for any kind of analysis people want to do. And Great uh, event this is because it's uh, it's so compact and so uh, it's so um, yeah so relevant. I mean, to, to what I what I care about. I really like it. Very interesting topics all the way through the whole symposium, and um, yeah, really met interesting people here. Um, and it's one of the reasons I agreed to come uh, was because of who else was invited to come and speak that I want to hear what they have to say and I want to interact socially with them too you know they're interesting people scientifically socially to talk to it's really impressive and, uh, We try to reach to other communities, so usually what you do is that you go to meetings before it was mostly molecular biology, now you start to go to meetings of cell biologists and medical doctors and so on and so forth to try and convince them that we do something useful. But then in a way you are never allowed to go into the details of what you are doing because you try to give the big picture without you know, the technical part. And it's so refreshing to be in a room where you understand what they're talking about and you learn something which will be useful to you rather than telling them something that will be useful to them. So having this kind of meeting at the CIGs is very important because this is the direction we want to go.